This is my colleague and friend, Dr. Shireen. When she sits up from a recumbent to upright position, she's been getting lightheaded. During her examination, we started with her heel to toe test. And she's a little off. She's better than she's been in the past, but she's still a little off. Those of you who have followed this case, you'll see this is Dr. Shireen in the past, where she's been having some balance issues. Here's another time where we can see her balance was off right from the get-go. So I gave her a distraction, went back and rechecked her balance. It was improved. Now I want to get into her case and find out what else is going on. There. Mm-hmm. C2, every time I lose my balance, it pokes that way. So when you're adjusting me, mm -hmm. Go up to C2. I am reminded that the worst patients are always family and friends. Isn't that true, doctor? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so you hear the doctor pushing on different segments? Yeah, when I pressed on C2 or C1 area. It made an impact? It made a big difference. On it, I could feel myself starting to go this way. And then when I press it, then it helps me to be able to go straight line. You know, but in the end, we, I don't recall if, if we adjusted there. I think it was your occiput <clears throat> we it, adjusted in the end. It was my occiput, um, but it was probably um, holding it stable to allow the occiput to have a little bit more movement. What was that? That felt a lot better. So which direction do you want me to adjust it in? Same thing that side. Oh, look at those veins in my forehead. <laughs> Now that session was important because it led to discoveries that will impact this next and her current visit. All right, Doc, let's check your balance, see what you got. So this is her balance when she came in during her current exam, and it was actually really good. Yeah, much better. Okay, that's pretty good. The best ones. Yeah. <laughs> so this is our manual muscle testing exam, and what's important here is in this position, all the muscles in green are tested, and they should be strong. For those of you who followed Doc's case, you'll know that in the past, she has not been able to pass this exam. From the top, Doc, you ready? Push up. Up, 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 up. What's wrong with me? Go! Why am I never able to hold it? Push up. Because you don't feel that care. Push up. Up, 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 up. I'm sure there's people that can hold it just fine. And they're not getting up, 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 up. Push up, up, up. Yeah, that's true. There are. <laughs> so sure. that leads us into today's case. In the room with us is a colleague, Dr. Joshua. He came down for a continuing education class as did the doc, so I'm going to be treating the doctor and communicating what's taking place with her in front of a colleague. What about this weekend? Good. All right. So we've been having, she's been having balance issues for... Am I actually doing it? You're doing it. <laughs> I'm doing it. <laughs> Trisha. <laughs> so, Trisha, she's got She's been having weakness every time she comes in. <laughs> this is uh, This is first. First time the hell is strong, huh? Yes. <laughs> so you can see how happy the doctor is, aren't you, Doc, for passing that test for the first time? Last time we were really heavy handed on her adjustments. Push towards me. Go. Good. Push towards the doc. Good. Push towards your hip. Wonderful. Push towards your hip. Look at you. All 100%. <laughs> doc, oh head goodness. right. What's significant here is the doctor's finally becoming normal in the sense that she can hold the muscle test and that she's not weak every single time she gets on the table. And that's really important because it means the pathways in her brain are starting to work more normally and which means the brain's output is more normal so that she has better control over her muscle, her muscle timing, her muscle sequencing, and that she has more coordination. And we'll see this later on in the video. Here what the doc wanted to check is she wanted to check to see if she put in a mouthpiece which had a greater gap on the right side, if it corrected some of her asymmetrical tonic neck reflexes or corrected some of her abnormalities. So we put in this mouth guard and went back to see if it corrected these reflexes and it actually did. Right. Yeah, that's it. Head in the direction. hundred percent it go. You wanna take it out and see what happens? Don't lift. Yeah, 
trade now. So let's do some trigger play on your team Five, four, three, two, one. Five, sorry, dog. Four, three, two, one. Pain. Feel that pain. Look at you. So, she has been running really cold for a long time, which mm -hmm. is not a good sign. Mm -hmm. Like freezing cold. And we finally put her on some nutrition. You're really warm today. <laughs> so when she usually gets on the table, she's freezing, which mm -hmm. is an indication of poor circulation and or thyroid issues. Mm -hmm. I've also been fine more for the last three days. Only me? Uh-huh. Good. Well, A, and that probably is significant that you're not eating anything you're sensitive to. Mm -hmm. So we've got our, all these anti-inflammatories, but she usually doesn't have such a heat response like that, which mm -hmm. is a really good sign. Oh. The goal is to bring down all her inflammation because her, she had a surgery a while ago and she's, she's thinking that components of that caused an inflammatory cascade within her, which is keeping her really cold. Cool. So, yeah. Doc, head that way for me. Don't let me lift. So to recap what was just spoken, basically the doc has been very cold. She's had poor circulation. We put her on a combination of supplements that improved her circulation and right. decreased her inflammation, causing her heat to Don't go up, it. her body temperature to go up. Technically her extremity temperature, not her body temperature. And then when she gets adjusted, she has a greater heat response as well. So typically patients who are running very cold don't have the same sweat response when you adjust them versus patients who are body temperatures are more normal. So these are good signs because they're indicating that the doc's system is improving. Oh, that feels really good right there. So far. Doc, we're gonna do a little push and no cat. Doctor is not fond of this adjustment, so I try to go really light uh, to minimize the oh, impact, okay. and I want to see what response she had. Did you get warm again? Yeah. Head that way. So I was not happy with the results of that adjustment and I wanted to do the adjustment again. The doctor was not okay with that so I decided to look uh, maybe there's a different area that was overlooked, another area of dysfunction that might correct this reflex. You sure you want me to give it a little adjustment adjustment? <laughs> okay, we're going to tell your upper neck. So after all that searching, it looks like it's not only her upper cervicals, but more importantly, probably her occiput. The TMJ was involved, but the doctor doesn't want me to do another adjustment on it. So we're gonna look elsewhere. And in looking elsewhere, the occiput looks like it will correct this reflex. So as always, after a certain amount of treatments, I want to go back and recheck a patient's balance to see if their balance is the same, better, or worse. Here we're rechecking the doc's balance. There it is. Look at that. Go. The other thing the doctor was complaining about was her coordination, specifically while dribbling ball, that her left hand was missing its coordination. It wasn't able to grasp or palm the ball. She was having to focus more attention versus where she could used to be able to look away from her hand. Now she had a look at it. So I had her dribble the ball to see how she felt after care. Yesterday and I was fine. How's it? That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Should we check your? Uh... Like, have a lot more control of my left hand. Cause usually I won't, like, even just going to this side. Like, I have a really hard time gauging where it's at. And then here, I'll like lose it a lot going to this side. Okay. And then. It's just strong. I 
Das ist amazing. Ja, der. <lacht>